what does it mean to be British? Who do we exclude when we think of Britishness? Often people try to make Britishness and whiteness synonymous. But Britain as a place and as an idea and as a concept and as even as a nationality has always been deeply intertwined with migration and empire. This is On the Record of the National Archives, uncovering the past through stories of everyday people. Over the next three episodes, we're exploring the rich history of migration in the 20th century. So what we have, unusually, is an alien registration card for somebody who was born in Britain, but she became Japanese upon marriage. And on doing so, she lost her British nationality. Men, they didn't lose their British nationality on on marriage because of the old legal idea that a woman as a wife was legally, in many respects, subsumed under her husband. Today, migration is almost always talked about in relation to immigration of people into Britain. And we really very rarely hear about the very large flows going out of the country and to all parts of of the world for over 400 years. By the 19th century, there were estimated 10 million British people who left these shores to settle all over the world, really. This moment of what was described as a colour bar around migration and citizenship in Britain had really profound effects at this moment. My father was born in British India, whilst the British Empire was still very much, you know, alive and kicking, as it were. For my father, coming to Britain was, on one level, a freedom, an opportunity. But the story does actually provide an important example of resistance as the Caribbean tenants were certainly never passive victims. And this narrative of resistance in the face of racism, of course, serves as a recurrent theme throughout black British history. <laughs>